Hello everyone, it is Perry the Trojan here with more Rome 2 Total War. Um, sorry to say guys, I'm going to be discontinuing the Parthian campaign and uh, we'll just call that a victory as it is simply because I just can't deal with the mod and you know I sent some spies over to the Seleucids and you know that was the whole big finale of our campaign and all of their armies were made up of like 18 units of slingers you know and I just I can't deal with the uh, army composition problems with that mod so we're just gonna discontinue it I'm sorry um, I know some of you really enjoyed it hopefully you guys enjoy this as well um, so yeah we're gonna be playing Rome on the DEI divided para mod um, I have a couple mods on it with like DEI graphics enhancement mod and DEI 12 turns per year feel like uh and just makes the game a little bit longer um so yeah this is going to be a super long um series because we're going to be recreating the whole roman empire that's 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 our goal um you know maybe even after that we might go world domination i'm not really sure but i like this mod a little bit better i'm not saying that war of the gods mod isn't a good mod i'm just saying that it needs some work when it comes to army composition and it was just sucking the fun out of the campaign for me. And uh, I can't play something and show you guys something that I don't enjoy playing and doing commentary on. So, um, again, huge shout out to the War of the Gods mod team. I know they're super small. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're just going to be doing this mod instead. So, we're going to be playing as Rome. Now, it's kind of vanilla, but I believe that if we just try to create the Roman Empire, we actually have a goal in mind. You know, just like we did in the last Par Parthian campaign, you know, we we're going to recreate the Ars or the, you know, Achaemenid Empire um, since we they were our forebears. But here we're just going to be uh, building the Roman Empire. So we're going to go ahead and play as the Equites because I think that having the moderate diplomatic bonus with all Hellenic factions will help. Because um, honestly, we can get a, good, a lot of trade agreements and stuff like that. And uh, our political tradition is Republican or Republic. And special systems is reforms and auxiliary recruitment. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to be playing on hard. Actually, you know what? We're going to bump that up to very hard. All right. We're going to be playing very hard on DEI. That's that's just going to be difficult because the difficulty settings on DEI are a lot more challenging than vanilla. So let's go ahead and get this started. You can see the Alexander. I have the Alexander DEI mod as well. You guys enjoy this just as much as uh odd um so yeah i mean that's the reason i upload it so much do so much content on rise of mordor is just simply be strategy games so um yeah maybe i'll do a stream on horn but i usually get double double all right you are rome cool all right, objective issued, control three provinces. All right, let's see what, like, just what our situation is here. So we are at war with Epirus. Maybe we can get a peace treaty with them. I seriously doubt Greetings. it, though, now since we are on very hard. Let's go ahead and try to get some trade agreements. Now speak plainly. Try to maybe get some more money coming in. Enter, friend, and and uh, get some we more money. We have much to discuss and perhaps much to agree. Ooh, might be able to get quite a bit. Might get a full 3,000 from that. I demand 3,000. Okay, cool, the... thanks. What about Syracuse? You I want one? You no, you hate us. And... All right, Epirus, I need a peace treaty. I cannot deal with the war on two fronts. All right, we can get point. one. We're going to have to give them a lot of money, but it'll be well worth it. So 8,400. All right, cool. Our trustworthiness is hurt but that's fine we're gonna go ahead and build a fleet cheapest one there we go and we're just gonna send it east i know i don't know if you guys consider this cheating or not um i wouldn't consider it cheating because if you think about it historically like obviously the romans had contacts in the east and stuff like that for trade rights so i don't really see the big deal so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it if you guys say it's cheating, you know, tell, make sure to tell me after this part and I uh, will stop doing it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and disband 
these three units, free up some income. We're just going to go ahead and get two units of Rurari here, Cosentia. And then we're going to get this army, and we're going to move them up towards Eredium. And kind of a standard setup for the Roman armies I like to use. So I'll usually have one Triarii, uh, four Hastati, five, and I'll usually have five Principes. Okay, and that, we're just going to stick like that. Actually, let's get some Slingers. We'll get three Slingers, and then we'll stop there. And then we'll go ahead and start building some buildings. We're going to have some public order issues here. So we're going to go ahead and expand the city. And we're going to get consecrated grounds. And we obviously need some more... F no, we're doing decent with food, actually. Let's go ahead and get an amphitheater here for the public order. Let's go ahead and deploy our governor. Should help with some income. For technology, we're going to go over and we're going to recruit barracks construction so we can get those champions. And we're going to move this spy up towards the ready and just kind of see what the Etruscans got going on here. It doesn't look like they have much. I don't know they got, they got four units in there. Not bad. Those Etruscan hoplites are actually super OP. They're actually really good. So we're going to just recruit those uh, men here. It's going to take us a while, but the Etruscans... We're going to have a head start on the Etruscans since they aren't recruiting an army as of right now. And then we're going to go ahead and check out our faction because you got really got to keep an eye on the politics here in DEI. Because obviously they look like eight loyalty, negative 8 loyalty, negative 13 loyalty, negative 9 loyalty. Um, you really just got to try to balance that out the best you can. Alright, so we're going to think we should just end turn. So we're going to go and end the turn. Should be at peace with Carthage for a little bit. So that gives us time to kind of consolidate Italy. Maybe even take out some of the uh, Gallic tribes right up north there. And uh, I think it's not uh, Transalpine. Yeah, Transalpine Gaul. No. Italian Gauls? I don't know how you would describe it. I'm usually pretty good with that stuff. So we're going to continue. It looks like they're recruiting finally. They're only going to recruit five units. So we're going to have a definite advantage over them. I think we should recruit. These cav units are kind of expensive. We'll recruit two cav. Three slingers. I'll give us 19. Oops, recruited one. No, recruit two extra. Guys there. So we're going to take them out. We're just going to move in with that army and just see how it goes. We should be able to beat them. Alright, let's get that fleet moving. Alright, you really got to, like I said, you really got to watch the uh, politics and the other factions in this mod. So you always, it's always worth investing the money. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy to seek a spouse and see that will add plus five to his loyalty so that kind of levels that out for a little bit all right we're gonna get this army outside the gate or outside the settlement here we can't do patrol which is weird okay we're just gonna get two more riarii then i think you need one more unit to patrol patrolling is a really cool stance in this mod where it kind of boosts public order and increases income because of uh negative banditry and stuff like that another really cool part of this mod is showcase it, hold on is obviously the manpower system so obviously look it takes 200 plebs to recruit a unit of principes and then it shows you your available balance which can be increased by building certain buildings and uh stuff like that so pretty cool okay we're just gonna go ahead and end the turn again because we really have until we can uh go and take out the etruscans and then I believe we should head for Batavia because it has that uh, glass resource there, which is, I believe, one of the most expensive trade resources alongside, like, gold and spices and stuff like that. So I think we should go try to take them out next. And if you guys haven't noticed, the DEI Graphics Enhanced mod does make the campaign map look super clean, look super great, super vivid and lively. <clears throat> 
All right, let's just go ahead and attack a Redium. See how we fare. We're not gonna do very good at all. Okay, so we're just gonna encircle. Can we get some mercs? We yeah, we can get one mercenary spearman unit. Still not doing good, so we're gonna go ahead and try to pull back. We can't. That's fine. We're just gonna pull back then. We're just gonna disband that unit. Then we're gonna get our uh, slingers in there, and then just see how we fare. If anything, we're just gonna have to play it out. That's fine. We're gonna get this fleet moving again. Go down here and try to discover Sparta. Uh, we're dependable again, which is good. Well, we're trustworthy with some of the other Greeks, so we're just gonna wait. All right. Let's go and see the politics. See how it's going. These guys still can't get married, so we're gonna go ahead and send them as a diplomat. Also, them to coin in ton or the Atolians, pretty much. See, that's another plus five. This guy's gonna be an issue. This guy's a general. See, there we go. There we go. Patrol region minus ten banditry, plus four punishment, minus five upkeep, plus four public order. So we're gonna go ahead and start patrolling there. What else should we upgrade here? Let's go ahead and get or upgrade this Roman vill or salt village. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're going to end the turn again. Should be able to start bringing some more income when our uh, trade ship gets around, uh, like Athens and Knossos and Rhodes and all of that good Hellenic faction stuff. Get some good trade agreements going there. Really gotta handle these Etruscans before they uh, become too big of a nuisance. All right. So it's fall. Glory to Rome. Looks like they're moving out of their town there. Still recruiting more units. So we're gonna just move down right here. On the move. Recruit. It is a great two more cav. Get our. Can we get full four? No, we can just get three slingers. All right, there we go. We'll wait for those guys to recruit. We'll get our ship moving. Let's go in and find Crete. All right, so we found Crete. Probably should get a trade agreement with them, which we can get. Fifteen. Ooh, I might even get more. Ooh, three thousand. Nice. With these words, you bring joy to my heart. I will accept that. Let's go and look back. Yep, he can get married now. Let's go and do that. This guy can as well, so we'll go and get them married. So then that guy leveled out with loyalty. But this, the nobiles are still going to be an issue. So we'll go ahead and send her over to Kenosis. They can be killed, though. These diplomats can be killed on these missions. And then temporarily, or maybe, you know, forever, it really does tick off that family. So you really got to be careful when it comes to that. We're going to go ahead and build a new building. I think we should get a workshop going. We'll get another cab in here, mercenary cab unit. So that way it kind of gives us an edge over these Etruscans here. What sass kind of stuff can we do? We can do sabotage supplies. Let's go ahead and do that. We succeeded. That's good. We're going to kind of try to keep them there because we're going to have a full stack next turn. And we're just going to go take them out. What kind of garrison army they got here? Mostly just, uh, you know, Italian town guard. Not, nothing too major. We'll be able to hopefully beat them in battle. All right. Oh, never mind. Our governor has a skill to give out. So we'll go ahead and give him one. Let's go ahead and do administrator and bureaucrat for some more tax rate there. We'll go ahead and end the turn. Battle in this next turn against these Etruscans.
Let's go join them in battle. It looks like our, actually our research is complete real quick, so let's go ahead and get land management now. And we're going to go towards common weight and measures. So first, let's move our ship out. Go discover Athens. Let's go sneak over here and get Rhodos. And I believe Sardis or Lydia, whatever. So we didn't get to... Uh, Get Rhodos, but we got Lydia. Enter, friend, and Should speak. be able to get another no, we 71 turns. Not great. And perhaps much to it. We could probably get 1,200 Gold maybe. Is usually offered in payment of service. We are not your. Yep, got 1,200. That's decent. You speak with wisdom. What about Lydia, can we get I am with them? to receive this embassy. All right, so we got two your more trade agreements. That's good. We'll keep sending them down. Also, discover the Seleucids in Egypt. If we can. Alright. What do they got here for army composition? So there's four units of Etruscans. Etruscan Hoplites. We got three units of Etruscan or Italian Italic swordsmen, excuse me. Some metallic spearmen. Some Etruscan mercenary spearmen. And we got two units of Velites. Ready for battle. Alright, let's go join them in combat. No, it says we're not gonna win this, but we're gonna win this. So let's go ahead and fight. <clears throat> we definitely have a cab advantage, so we're gonna have to use that to our advantage and uh, take out their missile troops that are coming in. To deploying in a three front line, same as along with my cab units. You try to in reserve, but uh, using them out on the flanks to kind of anchor them down if we can. All right, got some. Got a pretty decent sized army here. Go and get our four Hastati up in the front. Get our five Hastati or five Principes in the back. Get our missiles kind of here in the middle. Get our general in the back, of course. Get a Triaria unit out here. And right there. Let's use two Equites on this side. Let's use the three with our mercenary caveat over here. Let's go ahead and get this started. Your orders. I believe we can lock this unit in. Yep. I have consulted oracles and, and we're just going to walk them because we got some hills coming up here. So we're going to walk our troops. Really got to watch that. This mod. Where is it? Yep, they're coming from back here. That's good. Start moving our cav units. Make sure everyone's walking. And these units look great too. I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys the units. We've got some Astadi here. We've got our slingers there in the back. Got our principes as well. And then where's Triaria? Here they are. Awesome. Very historical looking. That's what I really like about this mod. Got some mercenary. Cavalry here. Some mercenary Italians. Along with some Equites right there. Let's go and fast forward this. Let's get them up here and let's block them. Placed. Awesome looking front here of just Romans coming out of the forest. The shield designs look awesome too. Hmm, where are they? Hopefully, they didn't go up on this mountain. That would suck. Let's go ahead and send our cab up there to go scout it out, see how it's going. They definitely might have went up here. Or they're over here in this forest hidden. Nope, they're up there. Alright, reform our guys. Start them at a run. So we need to get them in formation as quick as we can. Let's bring this cab units over and get them in a run.
Looks like our guys are going to come under fire from these Velites here. Let's go ahead and they're going to throw their uh, Pelum that they have. Pretty devastating. Let's go ahead and get them in a defensive formation. Let's get our Slingers to start targeting these uh, Skirmisher units here. Looks like they're bringing their reinforcements as well. Triari, we're going to get them in a hoplite wall. Jupiter gives us strength. Go ahead and get our cav moving to their flanks. Have our principes hold their fire with their pilum. And we're dealing with them very slowly but surely. Our hostile units are taking some casualties in the process. Our hidden units have been discovered. All right. Get them in a hoplite wall as well. We're gonna charge in between our lines. We're gonna go ahead and march up our principes and reform our slingers. We're gonna go ahead and let them throw their pilum. In between the lines here. We're gonna get them stuck in here. We're gonna fire on them, fire on them, fire on them. We're gonna get them in defensive formation and get them up here to hold the line. Take out their general and take out those missile troops right there. Get them taken care of. Have our general attack these Italian citizens. Have our slingers hold their fire. Get out on the flanks. Have our triari come around. Here's a kind of a reserve, a mobile reserve. Run, look at the battle line here. Very cool. Our men are holding their own for now. Our general is under attack. Their Etruscan hoplites are awesome looking though. I'll give them that. Big hosta shields. Really cool enclosed helmets. Looks like we're taking them out pretty easily. Looks like our general evaded us, so we're gonna get them out. Get our slingers over here. Get her started to continue moving as a reserve. I'm going to keep chasing them down here. Let's get that other unit up. Start getting some charges in. Probably should bring both of Stadi back. Let's reform that Principe unit right there. There you go. Get them down in here. Probably should help out those Astadi. Yep, right there. Definitely where we need these uh, Triarii here. Let's get them in. Let's get these uh, cab units moving in here. Let's break those citizens. Oh, they're attacking us here, our cab units. Let's go ahead and start hitting those uh, Italian swordsmen. Let's get those Equites out of there. Get our general out of melee. Give him a raised banner. A little bit of morale boost here. Let's bring our Trigaria out and around. Let's bring these cabinets through. Try to evade them here. Let's go and get a charge in these Italian citizens. Let's bring this Sestari back as a reserve as well. Let's get him stuck in against those Hoplites, or Etruscan Hoplites. Get those Chuskin swordsmen. Nope. See, there's gaps opening up here. We gotta reform our men. Those hoplites will push holes in our line. Let's go ahead and get them back as well. Orders. Pike men ready for orders. And the 
Ooh, it's breaking here. We got a Prince Pair unit breaking. That's not gonna do. Give him a little bit of morale boost. Give him a general up around here. Get another hoplite unit in there. We need to really break these guys. Let's go and charge in our cab. They hit our slingers here, which is not good. Their general is running back here. Having some uh, morale issues. Hit their general here pretty good. Just going to reform for another charge. Uh, it's going to hurt our morale there. Alright guys, we're going to have to start charging in the back or we're going to break. Get us another guy over here to hit these Italian swordsmen. We're gonna lose our slingers, but that's fine. The enemy general is dead. All right, the enemy general is dead. That's good. Let's get our general out of the combat. Prince Bays are having a pretty hard time. Let's go and charge them in. Get them reformed for another charge. Let's go and charge his missile troops. Come out and give him another reform. Understood. Orders understood. Forward. Ready and waiting. Our general out understood. of there. We need to get another raised banner in here. Alright, raise the banner again. That'll give us a good upgrade to our morale. Going to charge in again. Really try to break them. These Italian hoplites are really good. They'll hold for quite a long time. Almost unbreakable. Our Italian cab out for another charge. These men out for another charge. Suffering some heavy casualties here. A lot more than I expected to. Another charge in. Alright, broken them over here, that's good. Let's go get these more cab in here for another charge. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. All right, they're starting to break now. That's good. All right, yep, they're breaking. Let's get this cab out for another charge. We are on very hard difficulty, so. Let's have our general go and chase down these uh, stragglers we got going on here. Go and charge them in. They're breaking. Except over here, they're not. They're holding on quite strong. So we're gonna get a cinematic charge in here. That should help. Didn't take many casualties though. Let's go and get these guys committed in. Gotta chase down these stragglers. It's a lot of slaves we're missing. We are Rome. I have to get those slaves. Our Triari guy even ran. Wow. Get reformed. Let's get our men in. Charge against these hoplites. Mercenary Etruscan Spearmen here. Should drop their morale. 
There we go. They should seal their fate. Go and chase them down. I don't want all of them to escape. Go and chase them down as well. Go and fast forward this, run them all down. Um, guys, that was a difficult battle. It really was. We won it, but... Dang. I told you the guys, those mercenary or those Etruscan hoplites are no joke. I'll just push holes straight in your line. Alright, I'm going to end this first victory. We lost about half our destroyed. See, look at those. Alrighty. So we defeated the Etruscans. Awesome. Time to take a radium and consolidate Italy. At least in northern Italy. We're going to go ahead and enslave those captives. And we're going to fully take a radium. Yeah, let's go aggressive. Awesome. Yep, yeah, we're going to go ahead and occupy. Etruscans were destroyed. And we're going to go ahead and get military logician and military conscriptor. Let's go ahead and get Vanguard Legion plus 5% melee attack for sword units plus 5% campaign bat movement range. Let's go ahead and get formidable fighters. Awesome. Now, obviously, also with victories, it increases their loyalty. So that's good. Go ahead and give them another diplomatic mission to Athens. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much leveled out. Let's get our uh, faction leader here, Rufus. Decimus Sextilius Rufus. Let's get him married so we continue our family. I believe he is... No, he's 33, so he's decently young. Let's go ahead and get our spy moving. I think we should take out uh, Patavium next. And uh, secure... Cisalpine Gaul here. No, I was saying Transalpine, Cisalpine. Oh, should have known that. Alright. Can we move our ship anymore? Nope. Okay. Well, that's the end of this turn. Oh, never mind. We got an edict. Let's go ahead and give them bread and games. Go on. And this edict. We also got wine with that. It's not a terrible trade resource, but it's not the worst either. Pretty good battle, guys. I really enjoyed that. Alright. Looks like our agent was exposed. Uh oh. We're gonna go ahead and ban that mercenary cab unit. Get another. Which another unit? Things should we get in here? Let's get another Hostati. Let's get our ship moving. Got Rhodos now. Might be able to get the Seleucids this turn. No, nope, we got Egypt still. Oh, and the Seleucids. All right. May They're at war with Egypt. With so first, let's see who will offer of us the Lord most. Lord Obviously, the Seleucids will offer us money. The I believe. Of the no, they you. won't. Okay. Well, then? you rejected it. I have listened. Welcome. Will you reject it? No, you'll accept it. Okay, Feroz. Egypt. I like you. I see you. All right, Rodos. Be welcome. If I can give you a They fair do not want one. Okay, that's fine. Continue our going into the Black Sea with our ships and get Thracian tribes and Pontus and all that good stuff. So our public order is leveling out here. And here as well, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that to a Roman village. Actually, we're going to disband the Hastati unit cuz we're going to get a 
a ballista unit in here. All right, guys, actually, it looks like that's going to be the end of the episode. So I will see you guys in part two. I hope you guys enjoyed. Parry the Trojan out.